Alright, I'm just sitting above Calais, France on the channel map and I just want to show off a couple of features that well, one that's been here for a while but people might not be too aware of and the other four combined arm users I'm very excited about. So uh, once again ED is putting things in this game uh, under my nose and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> um, so over here I've got a whole heap of uh, armor lined up. This is all the English US armor on the right hand side. Got all the German armor on the far side. Got so many now. Uh, I mean combined arms is all World War II vehicles. And then I've got all the unarmed half tracks, Cooper wagons, staff cars, and mixture of the English cars in there as well. Ending with the Willys Jeep down the far end. Now anyone that's watched my videos knows I've done a few road trips, mainly in this uh, uh, Land Rover there in the middle of the screen. Um, and a lot of these vehicles haven't been available to drive in first person and uh, yeah, haven't had much options, but that's all changed by the looks of it. Uh, let's go to the F10 map. Um, now let's find that Willys Jeep. Now before I could not access this, uh, I do believe this was greyed out unless I was doing something wrong. So someone point out if I was, but I'm pretty sure this is new. And now I can jump in to the Willys Jeep in first person. And I do believe most of these are now drivable. And as you can tell, I am looking around in track IR which was not a feature before. I used to have to hold uh, the mouse and move it like this, which was doable, but uh, not as fluid as it is with just looking around like this in track R. So let's go for a bit of a spin. And to have this be able to look around naturally is, is, is just a huge step up for combined arms. I haven't got VR, but I'm kind of wishing I could uh, test it out right now because I'd love to know if everyone's got VR what these vehicles are like in that. But uh, yeah, hey, this is bad. This is going to be my favourite road trip vehicle now. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Uh, now, if I just uh, park this baby up here and jump back to the F10, let's jump into M4, say. Alright, I'm up top. Um, now I've got the crosshair there, but I've got the gun. Let's jump in, move that, and now I've got a full working gun to look down the crosshair with. You'd probably have to line that up with that, do you? And look out, look around. Uh, now I can drive from this position, or I can actually skip to the driver's view. And I've also got a crew. And that is the other thing that has got me very excited because in the last Hind update they mentioned uh, something being done for the helicopters as far as crew deployment. Now I am hopeful that we're actually going to have some model crew in the choppers as I'm seeing right here and for that to be translated into combined arms at some stage so you can load crew and see them in the back. Because uh, if that's the case, now don't quote me that's going to happen, but if that's the case they can pull that off and have actually animations and all that for troops to be improved, that's going to elevate combined arms to a whole other level, which it already is. Let's just jump out and jump into another vehicle. Uh, what do we got here? I think this is a truck, is it? Now, I think this one was always drivable, but uh, if I, yeah, I can duck, so I can actually see out the windows better. Now this is the only view I could use Track R with before, but that's all changed. Lovely. And what about the, I think they're the Range Rovers, so let's check this one. This is the, oh hello. <laughs> so this is a bit of a half track, so the head position is a bit funky old this one. <laughs> you might want to look uh, right before you look back but yeah there's again the crew. Very cool. Drive this baby. Got the half track. Now, a lot of people say why is there so much detail in these maps and this is one reason. <laughs> this game is becoming a combined arms game for sure. 
give it give it another five or another decade who knows where we'll be um, all right so how about we jump onto this little buggy I think it's this one <laughs> Oh, I forget what these are called. Oh, that's disorientating. <laughs> How mad is this though? Um, oh, it's got the best view, that's for sure. Be hard to drive, I need to see where I'm pointing, I think. Alright, let's jump into something a bit different. Let's go to a tank. Uh, tiger tank? Boom. All right, so I'm straight in the gunner's view here, and it's a bit disorienting because the gunner's sight is moving um, independently of the gun. So you probably got to disengage the tracker to actually move around for the gunner. So let's just shoot off there. I think that's a map object vehicle. We've got another vehicle. Goodbye. So you've got that um, control C. Now undo the tracker, activate, and now I can actually drive this tank from the driver's uh, portal. Portal. These smoke effects are so much better now, by the way. <laughs> But yeah, you got tanks, uh, drivable, and yeah, let's try another one. I haven't actually tested all these, so I'm seeing it as you're seeing it. There's another one, this is the little smaller one. But yeah, this is, you've got these huge towns. Give it some time, this is gonna do, be elevated well above anything else out there, I reckon. Flight sim wise that is, I mean, come on. <laughs> this is still a flight sim later heart. And look at all these things I'm doing. Uh, what else can we try here? Oh, that one on the end looks interesting. Let's have a look. The dry ball, yes it is. So once again, I've got the gun here. Oh, can I get to that one? I don't know how to change gunner positions. Well, there's the driver position. Oh, look at that. You probably can flip those up. I'm not sure if it's doable now, but I might have to check that in the menu options later. That's pretty mad. It's so cool. We track hard to be able to look around. Oh, oh sorry, buddy. But uh, yeah, you got several positions on this one. Um, Oh, that'd be, that'd be so cool. I'm just seeing the future in my head right now. Look how well that's modeled as well, it's terrific. I love that one. Alright, so next step is to... Actually, I might just try one of the English tanks first. Um, what do we got here? Alright, so this one's greyed out. See that? I can't press it. Now that was the way it was for a lot of these other ones. I do believe, but uh, yeah, I can't actually drive that one. Uh, Sherman, M10, M4. Looks like these are all drivable. Very neat. How's the collision effects? <laughs> Maybe needs a bit of work with the collision. But uh, yeah, really bad. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is jump back to the Land Rover, or Willys I should say. And take a little drive into town. And just show off one other feature. Oh, this is so much better now. I can actually just turn the head so freely. I'm going to be doing a lot more road trips after this. Ship sinking. Just 
stern heavy. <laughs> um, so let's just hit into the tower now. I'm probably going to get a bit of a dip with my performance here. Hopefully it doesn't show up too bad on the video because it always shows up a bit worse on that. Alright, so we've got the town again, um, which I've done some driving tour before. Well, not this town, so this is a new one. But, oh god, if I can drive properly. The picture of all these combined arms and tank battles throughout here. I think it'd be terrific. Let's go down the side street here. And, yeah, like I said before, you can get lost in uh, just touring about these towns. So let's get around this way. Oh, they're the beautiful landmarks. Which I uh, uh, just had a look up from up top in the Huey, but yeah, beautiful. You can just take a drive on this map for a whole day probably and still not be able to explore it all. I definitely know that. Um, Alright, so next step what I want to show is one of the features of the editor. Um, I'll just stop about here. That'll do. And this might lock the whole game up, but we'll see how we go. Demolish. Pause for effect. Uh, so it's going to take a while to load. Crumble. <laughs> Um, now it's probably going to affect performance a bit, uh, being this close to it, but yeah, I've just uh, activated a trigger to demolish this town. And hopefully it's not showing up too poor frames on the video, but look at the, look at the damage modeling of some of these vehicles, it's just as much detail thought put into it then it's the interest that tower survived now I noticed uh, that it doesn't take down the uh, landmarks if you can see up ahead all oh, these tables survived <laughs> and the bridges are out oh look at that oh the train's still going <laughs> so that's one of the other questions I had <laughs> the bridge is out stop the trains and the answer is no It'll stop an AI convoy, but the uh, trains still go uh, for now, so... Oh, that's hilarious. Let's just come around this way. Oh god, can I get around this way? But this, this is absolutely terrific. You can have these crazy, crazy combined arms tank battles along with the planes overhead. The future is very bright. Let's see where they can take it. Let's see where they can take it. But yeah, I just wanted to show up that. I'll quickly jump back to the editor once I finish having a look around here. Now, these smokes are killing my performance a bit uh, because I just wanted to add those in as well, just for effects. Um, actually, let's just stop here and jump out. So, this is the town from above. Um, whoops. So, as you can see, there is a lot of destruction that you can put on this map. I do believe, I haven't tried it on all of it, but uh, I do believe every map can be done, or definitely the recent ones that all have their damage model in. And like I said, put a bit of smoke in just for effect, but I think uh, on retrospect I probably could have left that off. But anyway, let's jump back to the editor quickly, uh, because I'll just show that. Alright, so let's quickly jump out of uh, Kelly here and go to a new uh, target. Um, well, how about we go to Santa Marks? It's actually got an airstrip, and I do want to have a look to see if it uh, does the similar damage modeling. Uh, so, to go over here um, to our trigger and whack a trigger down, and that will give me a destruction zone, anything inside that radius. So, let's put it right there, and uh, let's call that actually. Demo Lithion number two. And now I've got my trigger down, go to my trigger actions, and I'm just gonna set up a new trigger just to demonstrate. And you can do it off a condition if something happens in mission or a flag, but uh, I'm just gonna 
do it off mission start and over here on actions what you're going to be looking for is scenery where is it if I can spell scenery destruction zone uh, zone I want demolition 2 which is my trigger and destruction level so you can go all the way to 100 or 50% and that will destroy everything as soon as I load in in that uh, radius but I uh, just want to have a look before um, it goes down just what it looks like before so I'm just going to delete that one I'm just going to use this trigger and I'll change that to demolition 2 put it to 50% a bit less than before I might just get rid of all these smokes because I don't need those. Oops. So this one here is going to trigger once I hit my flag, which is the uh, radio item. So um, yeah, let's jump in. Actually, before I do that, let's grab Willy and put him on the airport so we can have a good look. Let's go. Alright, back in the Jeep and Cinema Airfield, which I'm not exactly sure I've been to before. Um, might have flown over it once or twice, but there we go, it's a shortish runway. I'm loving those uh, grass fields there. I mean, the little subtle cutout there. Very neat. Anyway, I'm getting distracted again. Um, actually, I saw the city in the background there, didn't I? Yeah, I can kind of keep it there. And let's uh, let Thanos snap his fingers and take out 50% uh, of this um, town. There it goes. And yes, the airfield as well gets uh, taken out. So there you go. Um, that's interesting to interesting to know if I can get this Jeep moving. So you can make some really interesting uh, scenarios with uh, destroyed airfields and cities by using that um, trigger which has been in for a while like I said but uh, it's not one that I've used much and some people might not be too aware of. Uh, what that also shows is every single thing except for the um, Maybe the landmarks are destructible in this uh, game. See the cross here. So if you drop a bomb in any of these uh, buildings, they're going down. Look at that, even the uh, walls have been demolished. In the corner of my eye, my frames are doing some weird thing on the video. In the game, it's okay. We're going to leave it there anyway, so yeah, hopefully that was enjoyable. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for the future of combined arms because uh, if you can get this level of immersion and detail on the ground, and I can only see it getting better and better with the vehicles, um, yeah, the future is very bright. So yeah, looking forward. Oops. <laughs> I've hit the wrong key there, but um, I'm happy I did because I didn't know you could get train views. What the hell did I press? I think I was trying to get to the um, free camera, but that'll do me. I do love my trains. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, hopefully that was enjoyable as we watch these trains. I'll see you later.